hello and welcome to my youtube channel canvas in this video we are going to discuss a very important organic transformation which is hydroboration oxidation of alkynes we have already discussed hydroboration oxidation of alkenes in a separate video you can find the link for the same in the description box of this video the hydroboration oxidation of alkynes is a two-step process in which an alkyne is first allowed to react with hydroborating agents to produce alkenyl borane which after oxidation with alkaline hydrogen peroxide produces enol. The enol then tautomerizes to its more stable keto form. Thus, the Overall transformation is equivalent to the addition of water molecule to an alkyne. The common hydroborating agents for alkynes are DCML borane, 9 BBN, catechol borane, and pinacol borane. Mechanism Alkyne is electron rich due to the presence of pi bond while hydroborating agent is electron deficient because boron has incomplete octet. Transfer of pi electrons to boron and at the same time transfer of hydride ion to alkynic carbon leads to the formation of this four-membered cyclic transition state which then collapses to alkenyl borane. The anion generated from the reaction of sodium hydroxide and hydrogen peroxide donates electron pair to boron of alkenyl borane to produce this adduct which undergoes alkenyl group migration like this to produce this alkenyloxyborane and hydroxide ion. Transfer of electron pair from hydroxide ion to boron of alkenyloxyborane gives alkenyloxyborate which undergoes hydrolysis like this to produce enol which tautomerizes to its more stable keto form. Regioselectivity in hydroboration oxidation of alkynes. Internal alkynes show poor regioselectivity because it is mainly governed by steric factor. So, Hydroboration oxidation of symmetrical internal alkynes give only one ketone while unsymmetrical internal alkynes lead to the formation of two different ketones. If we talk about terminal alkynes, they show good regioselectivity because it is governed both by electronic and steric factors. OH preferentially goes to the terminal carbon of alkyne and thus leads to the formation of aldehyde as the main product. These points will be more clear if we go through examples. The first example which we are going to take is hydroboration oxidation of hex 3 ion. This is an example of symmetrical alkyne. So, there will not be any selectivity. So, add H on one alkynic carbon and OH on the other to give this enol which will tautomerize to more stable keto form which is hex 3 ohm Hydroboration oxidation of hept 3 ion. In this example, the alkyne is unsymmetrical. So, attack of H on the left alkynic carbon and OH on the right will give hept 3 in 3 all 
which will tautomerize to more stable keto form which is HEP3-ON while attack of H on the right alkylic carbon and OH on the left will give HEP3 in 4 all which will tautomerize to more stable HEP4 own. Since size of ethyl and propyl is not, is not much different, so both the ketones will be formed with similar percentage. Let's have one more example of hydroboration oxidation of internal alkyne. In this alkyne, there is big difference between the size of two alkyl groups attached to the alkynic carbons. Addition of H to the left carbon and boron to the right will give this DCML alkenyl borane which after oxidation will give corresponding enol that will tautomerize to more stable one cyclopentyl propane to own. Another possibility for hydroboration is that the hydrogen can add to the right carbon and boron to the left carbon to produce another regioisomeric DCML alkylene borane which after oxidation will give one cyclopentyl prop 1 in 1 all that will tautomerize to more stable one cyclopentyl propane 1 own. Due to greater steric hindrance, addition of boron to left alkenic carbon is less likely. Therefore, this hydroboration reaction gives one cyclopentyl propane 2 own as the major and one cyclopentyl propane 1 own as the minor product. Now we will take the examples of hydroboration oxidation of terminal alkynes. Hydroboration oxidation of hex 1 ion. In this case, H selectively adds to internal alkynic carbon while OH to the terminal alkynic carbon to produce hex 1 in 1 all which will tautomerize to more stable keto form that is hexanol. The next example is hydroboration oxidation of phenylacetylene. Here also H will add to internal alkynic carbon while OH to terminal 1 to produce 2 phenylethene 1 all which will tautomerize to more stable keto form that is 2-phenylacetaldehyde. That's all in this video. Please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon if you like this video. Thank you very much for watching this video.